Hi, just another short tutorial. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's not the best in here. Uh, anyhow, I went out and bought a Easy Cap 2.5 off of eBay for like $5.90. And I recorded a VHS tape to uh, my laptop, and I put the movie file, after I recorded it to my laptop, I took the movie file and put it in the DVD flick. And it did not accept it. Um, I thought it was because I was using this program here that comes with uh, the Easy Cap, which works great. I love it. Um, you can also use uh, Virtual Dub if you have any problems with this one here. Uh, and there's other video tutorials on that. I think I made one. Um, but anyway, all I did was convert the uh, movie file and I changed the file to an AVI format and put it back in DVD Flick and it worked okay and it, and it did accept it. Um, so then I uh, wanted to create an ISO file to uh, burn it later because I didn't have any blank DVDs at the time so I wanted to create an ISO file which I tried to create one uh, an ISO file and it went through the video encoding the audio all the way down to the menus and it stopped and uh, so I was like alright well it didn't work on here and I thought again because I recorded a VHS to the laptop maybe the movie f format or something was different so I went to IMG burn and I tried to create an ISO file there well I got this message right here and uh, so I did research on that and spent days on that I could not find nothing on that so I decided to change some of the settings in that and uh, the first DVD I tried in the DVD player after I created it and burned it with the IMG burn well it played for like maybe two minutes and it shut off I changed some of the settings in IMG burn it a second time and it played a little bit further in and it shut off so the third time I played with the settings and it went um, just about halfway and it shut off again so to me that was a waste of time I wasted three DVDs and this was a waste of time so I wasted a lot of time with this so I gave up on that so I went back to DVD flick because it's a great program and I tried to create the ISO file again and it did the same thing, got down to creating video or creating menus and it shut off again. But this time I noticed it said uh, error code 53. And so I did some research on that and I came across this one article and I can fix the problem now because uh, I found an article about it. And it's an easy fix to get rid of that. Uh, uh, it says destination folder and here's where your problem lays. And it says documents right here. When you first install DVD Flick, it says documents. You cannot use that uh, because Microsoft or Windows did some kind of security thing and it said it's a, ha uh, a risk, security risk. So you can't use it because of hackers or whatever. So you have to, um, when you first install DVD Flick, change the output file from the documents. And I'd recommend. Um, desktop or I like to put mine in videos and just hit OK there see now it's changed now it says um, videos and after you do that put the, um, your movie file back in add it back in uh, over here and it, you'll see it will pop up here go through all the settings again and create uh, an ISO or you can burn it and I'm telling you it will work perfect I just did it um, yesterday and I put it on DVD and it worked perfect. Um, I put a DVD player, I watched all of it, it, it worked perfect. And uh, so I hope this helps, the code 53 error thing. I hope I helped you guys, so um, like, comment, share if this has helped. Um, I'd like to hear from you. Thank you.